The U.S. government did not have um, accurate assessment and did not have a plan for what they would do. This is Alaska Representative Sarah Hannon, who also happens to be a historian. The government technically calls them relocation camps. Everyone who survived them and their families, they call them internment camps um, because they were not allowed to travel freely and they were forced to stay there. 10% of the Aleuts never left Winter Bay. About 30 graves are still here. A lot of people died, you know, a lot of, a lot of sickness happened. And here you have uh, actual Americans that were in horrible, deplorable conditions where a lot of people were dying, where most of the young died and the elderly died due to sickness, starvation, uh, exposure, you know. It was just a lack of care and a lack of uh, of preparation and uh, very direct um, negligence. Which is why both Martin and Representative Hannon have made the land a priority. The state has passed a bill dedicated to protecting it. To the descendants, a worry is, is resolved. There is no threat that their families' graves would be destroyed removed. In the sense of history, you don't ever want it to happen again. You want to remember it. We're still capable of treating people like this. You don't have to look far to see us acting like this still. So that's where the value of this history comes into play. And that's where the value of protecting Thunder Bay is, is, is really important. Martin's work isn't done. There are six other sites and graves like this across Alaska, which he hopes can get the same honor and respect. I'm Thomas Hoppo reporting. Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Matt Elwell. Right now it is 525 on this Wednesday morning. Uh, A's for the grade book today, uh, maybe B plus uh, by the time you get into the afternoon. Right now looking out toward West Yellowstone, a pleasant morning. The temperatures have been very comfortable for most of the area. West Yellowstone sitting at 32 degrees. Fairly clear skies, a stark contrast to yesterday. You look into the Bozeman area, fantastic morning. You can see the wind is bumping the camera around a little bit. You'll have to deal with that through the afternoon. Winds out of the southwest between 10 and 20 miles an hour with gusts near 30 at times. I think our daytime highs in Bozeman into the low 80s. Butte uh, more into the mid 70s, a little cooler. But we also have the potential of some afternoon thunder showers. It's a very isolated chance, mainly uh, from noon in into the three, four o'clock hour. Uh, a very slight chance by 8 p.m. as we start to see more activity, especially in northwest Montana for the afternoon. That's where the risk for the stronger storms really remains. And there's a chance that we could see some of these showers kind of spill over toward Butte, uh, Deer Lodge, Anaconda area. Overall, though, we are looking at a pretty dry day for the most part today. The better potential really for rain showers coming on Thursday and some of those numbers coming in could be an inch plus, especially for um, west and northwest Montana.